What's up guys and welcome back to Geek Source HD. My name is Anthony and we're back with a new video for you guys. In my last week's video, I showed you guys my Xbox 360 that I use as an extender for my home theater personal computer. So here's that HTPC, let's get into it. What's going on guys? As I mentioned, welcome back. Here we have my home theater personal computer that I built back in 2013. Now, it's a beautiful case. It's a DIY PC, Mini Q1 white. In the front, we have our IO. We have two 2.0 USB ports, along with a headphone jack and a microphone jack. So let's take a closer look inside and see what kind of components we're working with. All right guys, as you can see, we have this case opened up. So let's go through the components really quickly. All right, so we have the Intel Core i3-3220 CPU in the middle there. It's more than enough for this machine. All right, we have a motherboard by Gigabyte. It's the GAH61M. It's a micro ATX motherboard. We also have the LG Black 12X Blu-ray combo drive. Now that's a little bit out of frame, but it's uh, used to play back uh, Blu-ray movies for us in our home theater PC. We have a Power Color Radeon HD 6570 graphics card. It's a really old card, but it's used to watch 4K movies. You can watch up to 4K movies with this, with this graphics card. Now you can't game on it at 4K, but you can watch video at 4K, which is really, really good. All right, and then at the very bottom, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's the star of the show. It's the Seton Infinity TV4. It allows you to grab a cable card from your cable company and record up to four shows at a time. And it allows for whole home DVR as well. And over on the drive cage side, we have a crucial 240 gigabyte SSD, which is used as a boot drive and for the media center. So it keeps us running at super fast speeds. Then we also have four gigabytes of memory. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it is more than enough for HTPC. Now again, this PC is not used to game or anything like that, but it's used as a cable box and whole home DVR. This will be more than overkill for that type of setup. So let me take the components out that you guys couldn't see and then we'll be right back.
right guys, as I mentioned, I wanted to take some of these components out that you guys could barely see. And I was given a demonstration of the interior components of the DIY PC home theater personal computer. All right, so here we have the Radeon HD 6570. As I mentioned, it's not used for gaming or anything like that, but it's a perfect graphics card for the setup uh, within a home theater PC because it plays back HD video, which is really, really good. So as I mentioned, not good for gaming, but great for 4K video. All right, next we have the star of the show, as I mentioned, the Seton Infinity TV 4, which is used for the cable card that you get from your cable company. The cable company usually charges you about $4.99 a month for a cable card, which is a lot better than paying $20 a month for whole home DVR service when you can just build it yourself and put this baby in there and get it rolling. You're able to actually record up to four channels at a time while watching live TV as well. All right, you can even record premium channels, which a lot of cable companies don't allow you to do. So it's really, really useful and home theater PCs became a big hit when Windows Media Center came out. So as I mentioned, you get a cable card from your cable company. This is a cable card. All right, so the cable card is then inserted into this device, the Seton Infinity TV, just like so. You get that plugged up like that inside your PC and it comes with this uh, wire that you plug into the Seton TV, this device here, and then on the other end, you have a coaxial cable um, input where you plug your cable co um, company's hookup into it, and there you have your cable going into your computer. And guys, I did forget to mention that I also use a Logitech wireless touch keyboard, the K400. It has a built-in multi-touch touchpad as like a remote control for the entire unit, and then I paired it uh, with a WD MyBook 2 terabyte USB 3.0 external hard drive so I can record all of my shows and have them all on that 2 terabyte hard drive instead of cluttering up the 240 gigabyte crucial SSD that I have internal. All right, so once you get all the components hooked up into your case, what you're gonna do is power up your Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1 and load up Windows Media Center. You're going to plug up your cable card that you receive from your cable company. It's about $4.99 a month into your Seton Infinity TV that I mentioned when I just showed you the case. Call your cable company and they'll be able to hook you up from there. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave comments below if you have any suggestions that will be helpful to me and to anyone else on YouTube. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, guys, peace.